what's going on guys welcome back to achievement report i'm your host danny flores get roy con todos ustedes today we're going to be talking about how Ms. alola isn't too worried about security anymore yes because she finally put a house tour and i told you guys i told y'all this was gonna happen but before we get into it guys go grab your snacks come back sit back and relax i love danny a lot of you guys are probably wondering, like, what the hell? Danny's not live. This is pre-recorded. Why is this a pre-recorded show, Danny? Guys, I, I will explain everything at the end of the show, but please stick around for that because you guys are going to want to know why I'm doing this pre-recorded. Stay to the end, okay? I'll explain later. I promise. So if I'm not a psychic, then I don't know what I am, right? Because last week I talked about how Miss Lola was really upset because someone put out her address right someone doxed her and you know i told you guys how i felt about that i'm like yo doxing is not a good thing don't do that you're a piece of sh if you do that well we also talked about how she put her address or not her address sorry let me let me retract that she put out some pictures of how her house looked and it's so easy nowadays to just get that picture put it on google and reverse image it whatever you call it right and I'm like, bro, if you don't want people seeing how you live or seeing trying to search up your your house situation, don't put your house up, please. Please don't. And what they did, they put their house up. They're excited. <laughs> they want to show out the house they do a house tour. Right. But before we get into this house tour, because I'm, I'm actually very excited to see this house. Believe it or not. Big fan. Shout out. Psych. I'm not. <laughs> um, but yes, they have posted this. Well, not they. Lola had posted this. I just give you guys a tour of our new house. I am going to put the link down below here. We're about to head out. So if you guys want to, if you guys didn't catch that video or you want to catch the replay, it is right here. You guys can see the tour. I couldn't show you the basement. The It was really bad service down there. So I'm like, let me wait until I get everything connected. And then I'll be able to show you guys the basement. But everything else, front yard, backyard, like throughout the house. Um, I did um, go live. So I'm going to put the link here. Make sure you guys catch it. Jesus. Oh my gosh, bro. I <sighs> Are y'all are y'all dumb? Are y'all stupid? Like for real, bro, you're literally showing the street you live on. This is very upsetting, but it is what it is. I guess they want people going to the house. I guess they want stalkers, right? Because I I don't know, this new stalker thing is new, like to the to the Latino community. I'm just kidding, I'm just making jokes, right? Um, but no, let's okay. So let's look at this at this house tour, right? Um, it's 32 minutes long. I don't know if I'm gonna go the whole way. We'll see if I um, if I lose interest. But yeah, as of right now, it ain't looking good already. Where's the number? Is it all over here? So this is good to show, right? Okay. <laughs> this is so hot. <laughs> oh my! They're worried to show the house number. Bro, you literally showed your street. You showed the street you live on. Oh, wow. Clowns of the day. Out here, yo. It is so hot. Let me know if you guys can see me. Um, the owner put... Um, um, we, just went, we just went over everything, so I connected to the Wi-Fi here. I was like, oh, thank God. Thank God. I could show them a house. So yes. hot. It is it's fucking so hot. hot. Why you got you just go inside already? It's hot. Oh god. <laughs> Listen, Arizona has been a hundred and fifteen and up lately. So I mean they gotta get the views. Let me know when you guys are tuning in. Oh. Did she really just scratch her teta on life? What the fuck? Why is my voice like that? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun already, dog. <laughs> uh, we were just um, finishing everything up here. I'm so excited. It was good to meet um, the previous owner because um, they're such good vibes. And he was just telling us stories about everything. And he was just a good vibe. And I was just like, oh my God. He said, well, enjoy your new home. And I was like, oh, thank you. Um, so I'm super, super excited. I'm not going to show this this front of the house, like over here. There's still like this front of the house. Um, I'm not going to show this front of the house. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Bro, you literally, I'm like, 
I need a big screen for this. I'm not going to show the front of the house. Let me switch the camera. Yeah, I'm not going to show this side of the house. My gosh. Now I see why you guys wanted me to react to this. <laughs> also, um, because if I go any further, you'll be able to see like more um, of the address and stuff. <laughs> My God, bro. Oh, shit. This is so oh, annoying gosh, already. So I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> All right, friends. We are going to show you guys our new house. Let's yes. see it. I'm a Jeep and y'all had to be a homeowner. <laughs> we're in the kind of... What happened? I thought y'all were scared about, you know, your your safety, you know, secure. You, you, I thought you guys were going to take security measures onto your own, into your own hands because, yeah, I don't know. Very sus here. Very sus. And let me just tell you guys, someone brought it to my attention on my comments saying, yo, Danny, did you ever think about this? Maybe they're they're saying this whole thing about you know people breaking into their house, um, leaking address or whatever, you know on purpose. And I I, I honestly didn't think of this, but yes, <laughs> now I know they're capable of doing or saying anything for a reaction for you know people to feel sorry for them uh, for for me to cover them because uh, they love when I cover them right and you know. I love covering stupid people, <laughs> so that's that's partly my my fault, okay? But yeah, I mean they're capable of doing a lot of shit. End up in the boondocks. Um, let me show you guys a little bit of the area. Oh my this God. is kind of it's like I'm telling you, it's like in the middle of nowhere. So we're kind of in the boondocks. Jason, um, that's how it's looking out here. So very very. You can't get mad when. <laughs> Oh my God, bro. Why are you serious? Are you dead ass right now? You're literally showing everyone that. <sighs> Para eso no se estudia, mija. Like, honestly, you. <laughs> my goodness, dude. Small vibes. Small town. Yeah. Very small so uh, town. this is the house. Let me show it's you. It's giving the hills have eyes. You guys so that's like the garage to go downstairs the driveway and then there's a little walkway um and then it has this whole little i don't know hold on time out sorry i keep pausing him five bucks she'll show the number the house number five dollars if not then what you call it like hallway almost <laughs> she does it and then this is the front of the house and then it has the side over here um, and it literally goes all the way, all the way through the backyard. <laughs> so it's like a long driveway. Oh yeah. I told him who lives next door. And then he, um, said that, um, I guess, uh, uh he's like, his, uh, dad died and he doesn't want to fix the house. I was like, bro, if I'm like, we should get it, babe. <laughs> so we could just make an attachment next to our house. <laughs> Damn. Y'all got money like that. Okay. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah yeah ryan wants to do white and black um instead um yeah it's cute all right let's get inside friends because it is hot as shit out here okay and if you see some stains on the doors um we just blessed the home so and we've been walking in and out so they did put hey i'm even mad about that I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone blesses their home or their new their new item when they get it, as in their, like, car, house. I don't know. But y'all stay blessed, too. <laughs> new flooring in. Look at our little stains. Of, <laughs> we're already staining the house. Um, it it's has, like, a little... Dirt. So some of the house is, um, I feel, like, updated, and some of it is um, more uh, rustic. But I really like rustic. So this is the... Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Uh, do you mean outdated? Right when you walk in, it has like a little closet, which honestly, I have to move that stuff down, but we had to get the um, new vendors, uh, um, uh, vents, the AC, it didn't have AC. So um, we literally just put the AC up like um, two, three weeks ago. Um, so right here is Miss Leah's room. She's already in there. Ryan's like, they're already in their rooms. Um, <laughs> they're already in their rooms. Say hi, baby. Look at Miss Leah's room. So the kids are going to be having their own. Holy shit, dude. That's what the. <laughs> okay. 
I don't know how the how old the daughter is. I don't care, but bro, if I don't, I don't think I'd put my kid in a room that has a slider door. Maybe when they're, I don't know, seventeen, eighteen. Just my opinion, right, bro? Not even seventeen, eighteen, bro. They're gonna sneak out, bro. <laughs> Especially, yeah, I don't know something about having a door, a sliding door, in a kid's room. It just rubs me the wrong way. I, it's just me, guys. I seen a lot of true crime shit, so it's just scary. But go off, Queen. Own um, rooms. The babies are also gonna have their own room. And I love how tall her ceiling is. Oh, the AC feels bomb right here. Oh. So this is Miss Leah's room. <laughs> oh, that too much fun. And she can, you can see that the has a little door for her. Um, closets are kind of small, but the kids have a big closet now. And it's honestly just filled with random stuff. Like this is just giving them an ability to organize. Like, okay, you should only have this amount. You know, you hate that closet. You know, you hate it. That fits in here, and if you don't fit anything in here, like, you really have to um, look through your clothes and see which ones you can donate and which ones you can keep. Um, okay, so that's the front of the door. First room has this little, I don't think it's a light. I think it's just, like, is it a light? A chandelier type vibe. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> um, and then the baby's rooms are going to be right here. So it has like wood floor and then they put new carpet in here. Uh, she has a door to sneak out. I know that's what Anna just said. Anna's like, she's going to sneak out. I'm like, where? Where is she going to sneak out to? I'm like, to the desert? We're in the middle of nowhere, girl. Um, so that's like our, how the backyard looks. Literally. It has the golf course and everything. This middle is the baby's room. Um, so they have a bigger. It has a golf course? Bro. <laughs> I think I passed through there once. <laughs> me being all weird closet they have like that storage up top which i like for the babies throughout the house you'll see beams i'm a sucker for beams i love the rustic look so this is the baby's room we're gonna do a tour are you a sucker just for beams just asking for a friend toy story theme because bryla is such a tomboy <laughs> she likes toy story so it's a good size i like troy's story or toy <laughs> Okay. And then my son, he does gaming. Oh, it looks nice with the light on. I was like, is it a light or is that it does a look chandelier? Really nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be cute. Um, and then this is the bathroom. It's only two bathrooms. So let me turn the light on for you guys. So this is how the bathroom looks. Isn't it cute? Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. We're not moving in right, right now. Right now, we just got the keys and did everything. I wanted to meet with the owner so I can kind of get an idea of like what. Um... Once again, you don't meet with the owner. If you're buying a house, you don't. Let me repeat. You do not meet with the owner unless you're doing rent to buy. Maybe, perhaps you meet with the owner. But it's typically uh, a realtor. Either their realtor and your realtor meet up, they get the keys for you, and then they give it to you. There's no interaction between buyer and owner. Just saying. Just saying. Like the previous owner, like what like the vibe was? Because once you see the basement girl, I just blessed the house, but like um, I just wanted to get a feel of what how their life was, you know, and stuff like that. And um, I um, how the house looked like before the upgrade and stuff like that. So... That's kind of like what I wanted to um, go over and stuff. Okay. But he, they're really nice, really nice. They're, um, I guess he's moved, he moved to Victorville. So I thought that was cool. And I was like, wow. Um, so this has a tub, which is great because the babies, they still like to take um, baths. <laughs> they still like to take baths. So I'm like, it's cool. And then Dylan's room, and he's already in there. Yeah. My son's already sleeping. If you have any negative comments, you guys can um, go and talk to it. Talk to your man. And go talk to the cheese man. Poor. <laughs> We're here. Uh, not being too negative yet, uh, but we'll see. About it or pray about it. I don't know. Do something else, but get off my comments. Get off my comments. I mean, she a baddie. She knows she a tally. She oh my goodness. She a baddie. She knows she a tally. <laughs> Get a horseshoe and above that. <laughs> so cute. And then this is our room. 
Oh, God. And it has the beams on the top. Like I said, I love the beams. And then um, I have a candle. We had to leave one of the doors open right now because we were doing the blessing in the home and stuff. So I, um, I'll close the door in just a minute. Um, but I'm thinking of taking these ones out of here because there is a closet right here. So I was like, maybe I just take these doors out and just put like white shelves and put my bed in the middle. I don't know. We'll see. And then for now, we would have to put my vanity stuff in here until we get everything situated downstairs. We, the guy that inspected it just came um, to do the basement just to kind of see the temperature and all that stuff. So, and then this is the bathroom. I love the little blue, the little blue um, dashes of here. Like, it's so cute. I love it. Dashes? Isn't it so beautiful? I'm like, I love how rustic and boho everything is. It's so gorgeous. It's so random though. It's like, has a door to the backyard. I'm like, okay, okay. Let's see the <laughs> yard. Like, Let's see the yard. Let's see how people could... You know, according to you guys, could maybe uh, jump the back fence. And I'm not saying go do it because, I, guys, don't be stupid enough to do it. But I'm saying it because they say one thing in one live saying, yo, we, 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 need, we need to add cameras. We need to be better about our security. But next live, they want to show their new home, give people access, give people the knowledge to see how the house looks like, bro. <sighs> you guys in the smart, backyard dog. right now. Um, um, Brian is convincing me that we could put a pool back there, but I'm like, I don't think so. <laughs> this is our bathroom. Yes. It's kind of cute. C's cute. C's. I love the style, right? Isn't it cute? Okay. And then this is the um, room. Let me close it. Yeah. Let me close it. I think we're good. I'm gonna turn the candle off because let me lock it. Lock it. The people are um, coming later today to set up the cameras. People are coming later to set up the cameras. Okay. All right. Cool. Good for you guys. Okay. Um. All right. So that's that. Our room. One story. Oh my goodness! How beautiful for one story. And then this is. The room that's a little bit more outdated is the circle room. This is the circle room. So I, everything is rock wood. There's like a chimney here and it goes all around. This chimney is like gigantic, girl. So maybe the dining table here, maybe the dining table over there. Um, and then this is like the living room area. So I'm like, okay, cool. And then this is the kitchen. And the kitchen is very, like, um, rustic <laughs> vibes. I like the white and light wood. It's just, like, perfect. I love it. I love the white and the wood. It, it, it feels so farm life. It feels so cute. And then it has a little copper. And all the appliances are brand new. I'm like, wow, that's perfect. I'm a sucker for new appliances. Perfect. Um, and then this is, like, a little copper penny vibe. Isn't it huge? I'm like, we could put Wyla in here. I'm just kidding. And no, um, not, not too many cabinet space, which I like because I was just telling you guys this morning, my kitchen, I have so much space that I'll never use those cupboards at all. So I like how this is kind of like, um, not too much, um, not too little. It Small and simple, I get it. It feels, I love the sink. I know it's so cute. So it feels really good. So that is that. And then there's Anna. <laughs> Wobbling her way around. Anna banana. Hey, we're over here, Anna banana. Um, and then this is another little part of the chimney. Again, this room a little bit is more um, outdated. I don't mind it. I love it. I love the beams on top. I love it. Maybe we can update it. Ryan's like, we could do a marble chimney. <laughs> like, there's, we can definitely update it. But I'm going to leave it like this for a while because I think it looks so cute. And then I was thinking right here. Because we need to save the money. We need to get the views up. It's understandable. Your dining room table, maybe. All the room, I mean, all the windows, they look like this. I'm a sucker for windows. You guys already know I the love. The fact that you're showing this, bro, you gosh it just bothers me bro you <laughs> i'm gonna repeat myself you guys say one thing in one life the next thing you go ahead and show you off your house 
It's ridiculous, dude. Ridic yeah, ridiculous. Of my windows. And then right here is kind of like a bar. Um, again, it's a little outdated, but I'm like, it has a little, it has a, um, a good vibe to it. <laughs> so I love that. I'm like, after dark, it's going to be lit. <laughs> And then <laughs> I think that's what their next event's going to be. That's why. And um, you kind of go around. There's this side where the chimney they have this drawing of this train. <laughs> I like that, though. I like how it's like because you can see you see all the way over there. You can see the train passing right now. Nope. Oh, yeah, I see. I see. But the it's train. so quiet. I can't hear it. It's like all the way over there by the mountains. Yeah, I definitely. OK, by the mountains. By the mountains. Oh, my. It's not by the mountains. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I definitely passed her there once. Um, you can see the train right now passing by. And then more windows. These ones, they got them tinted a little bit because I guess the sun hits more. And then back to the living room. Some shelves are inside the chimney, too. Uh, excuse me. And then let me show you the backyard. Anna, banana. We're in beliefs that we can do a pool. We got to get somebody to come in for the brick um, wall. Let's go. Uh, it shows. A little pool. So the um, hall, like the driveway goes shows, all the way. Shows your backyard. Shows the, the access to your backyard. He wants to put like um, grass right here. Like this would be the end of this. And he's like, we could just put grass. Oh, I see. And then he's like, where the rocks are, that would be kind of where the pool is. Uh, but I don't know, friend. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, having a golf course literally have access to your house. Eesh. Eesh, let's let's back to, let's backtrack here a little bit. He wants to put like um grass right here. Like this would be the end of this. And he's like we could Right here. Golf course, no wall, no gate. Just go into the backyard. And you're showing this on live. You're showing this on live. Just wanna just wanna make uh make that clear. Just put grass. That's and then why. he's like, where the rocks are, that would be kind of where the pool is. That's wild, bro. That's wild. But I don't know, friend. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. We'll see. And then I have to show you the basement right now. But yeah, this is the backyard. It kind of wraps all around. You yeah, see? It goes back to that bathroom. Don't like he said, it. this would be a good size pool. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? Drop in the comments. Okay, what do I think? Um, you're dumb for showing your house. <laughs> no, about the pool, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Your your whole backyard's going to be pool. It's only going to be pool. And, yeah, your kids want somewhere to play. You know what I mean? Just my opinion. I know you guys want it. <laughs> Oh, it's so hot out here. The pool will work. <laughs> She's like, we'll make the fucking pool work. Mm-hmm. Got to save that feria, though. And there's a damn Anna about a pop. <laughs> you seen the comment? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, so here's the basement now. Oh, I want to see dun, the basement. Dun, dun. <laughs> it's a lot fresher down here, though. Here's where Chucky comes out and play. Okay. No, don't close it. <laughs> You're mean. Turn off the lights. All right. The so conjuring? this is the unfinished project for <laughs> us. This is, I think this is why we really liked. Well, I really liked. Oh. Bro, oh my God. Okay. This just popped into my head. No, okay. No, no. Let me, let me, let me say it right now. Let me watch this. Let me just watch this. I was going to say... This is interesting. This is a theory I have. And she's probably going to say it here too. But I was going to say they found a, they purposely found a house for a basement so they could work out of that basement. They're not going to have a warehouse anymore. Because, like I said, they moved 
quite a while from the city, bro. Like two, three hours deep into the middle of nowhere. So they're probably, yeah, I mean, they're probably going to work from the basement. She probably says it right now. I haven't the seen The Wi-Fi is probably going to go out, friends. Use your data. I don't think so. Okay, I'm going to keep walking. If the Wi-Fi goes in and out, I'll just wait until I get upstairs. But this is kind of like, That's you know, a little um, space. I wish I had a basement. Damn, I would have to put another... Internet source box down there. There's two phones out of mine. Yeah. Ah, uh, man. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I could go down there, friends. But it's huge. It's as big as the house. It's like the whole under house, huh? It's like, I feel like it's... It's, it's uh, we call this indelible beauty shop down here. <laughs> Super big. Yeah, it's way bigger than my warehouse right now. I fuck. I knew it, dude. This is what they're gonna do. I knew it. This, bro, mark, mark my fucking words. They're gonna do that. Um, but it's not, I don't, I, we would have to put another Wi-Fi port down there. Yeah. An extender? Yeah. It was feeling fresh down there. I was like, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, that is it. I know, right? All right. Yeah, I guess that's basically it. But bro, mark my words. I'm telling you guys, they're gonna... They're gonna do indelible beauty shop down there. Well, why? Why? I'm telling you, they're not gonna drive three hours to their warehouse every day. It's gonna be a six-hour round trip. I wouldn't. Hell no. Yeah, they're gonna definitely run indelible from there. Mark my words. Mark my words. All right. So now uh, we got that word with, and yeah, like I said in the intro, uh, you guys are probably wondering, yo. Why is this pre-recorded? What the hell? You're not live. Yes, guys, I'm not live. Here's the thing. So I did want to talk to you guys because I know a lot of you guys come from Facebook. And, you know, YouTube and Facebook are two very, very, very different platforms. On Facebook, you have people going live almost every day. And uh, that's how that's how it, it works over there. Lives work. On YouTube, you know, people do lives. Uh, people do videos. And, um, yeah, so <laughs> with that being said, I'm going back to pre-recording videos. It just works for me better now. Um, things are changing. Um, I'm growing my other channel. Um, you know, I, I strongly feel that with doing pre-recorded videos, this channel would go above 100K. And it's just a, a simple fact that, you know, I'm going to do videos probably, I want to say every day. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm aiming for every day, Monday through Friday, one video a day. But the whole growing the channel thing is, you know, with, with going live, this is going to sound rude, but I don't mean it to sound rude. It's just the way that YouTube, the YouTube game works. So going live, I was just making videos for you guys, for me, you know, just a little... My little community, I don't know, I want to say maybe 10,000, not even 10, 5,000 of you guys are in this small community. And in order for me to grow from that, as in past 100K, I need to get outside of that community. I need to make videos for other people, not just for you guys. I know it sounds rude, but I hope you guys understand. Um, so yeah, I'm doing pre-recorded videos, gonna get things out there goal is to pass 100k i know this is this comes this came out of nowhere guys i know i really do apologize um but i do hope you guys still stick with the cheese report i'm still gonna bring you the same content we're talking about same people just make it better add new new uh characters to the show add new stuff to the show I don't know. It's just how YouTube works, guys. It's how YouTube works. And I feel like if I keep doing the same lives every week, I'm going to stay stuck. I'm going to stay stuck. And honestly, that's how I feel right now. I feel like I hit a plateau. I can't go further than that. So this is uh, the start of something new, I guess. The start of uh, pre-recorded Cheeseman shows. So I know how, you know, you guys know how I, I started 
the cheese mix shows, obviously. But in the cheese mix show, I, I talked about different people, um, different segments. I'm thinking doing a video dedicated to one person again, because that's how I used to do. Uh, maybe a little longer. I used to do eight minutes, maybe 10 or 20 minutes. I don't know. Um, dedicated to that one person. I don't know. We'll see how that works. Um, this show was dedicated to our number one fans, Lola and Ryan. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, I really do apologize for just throwing that out there. I have to I have to I have to do what's best for me, best for me and for my family. And yeah, if I'm being honest, like I said, I was I just hit a plateau. I, I I've been in the 80,000s for years now, <laughs> like a year, a year, two years now. So uh, my thing is, if you don't change, then you're going to stay stuck. That's how I think about life. You know, I know a lot of people are scared of change. A lot of people don't like change. Um, I actually don't mind change. I love change. Uh, for instance, I never wanted to go on Facebook. And look what happened, y'all. Like, I blew up within three months on Facebook. I think three, four months, I gained 80,000 followers over there. And eh, life happens. Shit happens, and you just got to go with the flow. You got to go. You got to evolve is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so Facebook didn't work. I came here, and it's just sad that people from Facebook don't come over here because they don't know how to use YouTube, which annoys the hell out of me because YouTube is easy, way easier than Facebook, in my opinion. Um, do I think the engagement is better on Facebook? Hell yeah. Y'all were y'all were riding hard for the Cheese Mary Report over there. But yeah, it just sucks that that transition from Facebook to YouTube, as in my my followers, it doesn't transition over here. They you they don't come to YouTube because they I guess they don't like change. But yeah, like I said, I gotta do what's best for me and my family. So um as of today. We're going to be doing pre-recorded shows dedicated to one person, a topic, and we'll see. Maybe maybe we'll hit that 100K. You never know, right? We got to get more people into the show. And, uh, yeah, if you guys don't know, I also have a second channel, which it's been going good, guys. It's been going good. Um, I'm doing, I'm, I'm loving the the work I'm doing over there, the chisme on the other side of YouTube, as in not just Latinos, but other side um yeah big names over there so hopefully that works out too but as of right now guys pre-recorded videos i do i, I do want to apologize if you <laughs> it would be cool if y'all stick here with me if not totally understandable you guys like the live shows all gucci you know peace whatever <laughs> this is my goodbye to you if y'all leave um but no uh thank you guys for sticking around i know this was like i ended it like a a sad type of way. Sorry, guys. Don't cry. Don't cry. Um, don't get me wrong. I'll probably do lives uh, once I start feeling better about them. I don't know. Um, and for those that are on my subscribers group, on my, uh, what's it called, membership group, thank you guys so much. You guys support the channel a lot. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, you guys are real ones. I really do appreciate that. I'm trying to bring out videos out there for you guys and like i said you guys get early access so starting today tomorrow whatever <laughs> when i upload a video you guys are going to get early access you guys will be seeing it first and then everyone else and then yeah it just works out better for me guys i'm sorry i keep repeating myself i sound like some of these want to be influencers online um but yeah guys other than that thank you guys for listening thank you guys for enjoying today's show I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll be here uh, once a day for you guys. Um, I'm testing it out. I'm testing it out this week. Hopefully it works out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.